Okay folks, I'm going to tell you a slight variation on a fly called the Lady U. Now, the hook I have on the face is a size 12 Partridge Patriot Double. The thread that I'm going to use to start tying the fly is Uni Thread 80 in white. So, simply just going to come in and get the thread started behind the other hook and remove the waist tag of the thread. Now, the tag on the fly and the rib is an oval silver tinsel in small. So I'm just going to come in after this underneath the hook, bring a couple of turns to catch it in. Bring the oval silver tinsel underneath the hook and then just run my thread down. Tying in the oval silver tinsel. Now I just want the thread to come slightly past the point of the hook. And then I'm going to come round with four turns of the oval silver tinsel to create the tag. On the fifth turn bring it up and in between the two hooks come in with the turn to hold and then a couple of turns to secure everything in now I'm just going to come in and trim this away the excess now the tail on the fly is a golden pheasant crest feather so I'm just going to offer this up to the hook come around with the turn to hold right just get it positioned the way you like and the length that you like uh, I'm happy enough for that, so I'm just going to tighten up. And then I'm going to come in and just trim away the the excess now. Just going to bring my thread on up, tying in the cut ends. There. And on the way back down, I'm going to tie in a length of a wool silver tinsel. And small again for the rib. So, Stafford underneath again couple of turns to catch it in, bring it underneath the shank of the hook and then just run your thread back down. Right, just bring your thread down, tight up, just going to hold the tail. Just bring your thread down, tight up against the tail. To there. Now, the rear part of the body is going to be a glow bright floss number 14 in this nice blue colour. So, just going to come in, square that off, grab it on a bobbin holder. I'm just going to come up and tie that in nice and tight and then just run my thread up and tie in the glow braid floss. Now I'm just going to bring the thread on up a bit to there and I'm going to whip finish it off. So just come in with my whip finishing tool. Just to want it for a four turn whip finish. Come in, trim away your white thread. Now I'm just going to bring up the glow braid floss number 14. We're just going to use this to create the rear body. So I'm going to bring this up halfway to there. Then we're going to then I'm going to come in with some Uni 3881 black just to finish the fly off. So just come in where you cast off the white thread. Just run my thread down here to meet the glow bright floss to there. I'm going to come in trim away the excess of the black thread. Now I haven't let the glow braid floss go because I don't want to lose the tension in the, in the floss. So I'm just going to come around with a turn. One, two, that'll catch in the glow braid floss. Now just push your tying thread out of the way. Come in and trim away the, the glow braid floss. Now, the front part of the body is going to be a large silver holographic tinsel. So I'm just going to offer this up. Just pull it into the length of the body and then just run my thread up, tying this in nice and tight. Now I'm just going to bring around my silver holographic one clean turn onto the halfway point of the body and then just work my silver holographic up length of the second part of the body to there. Fill it over with my thread, one turn to hold and a couple of turns will secure. Now I'm just going to come in with my scissors, just remove the excess of the silver holographic tinsel. Then we can bring up our rib. Now we're doing four turns or so on the body. There's plenty up to there. Fill it across with your thread, one turn to hold, a couple of turns will secure that in. And then come in and just 
trim the excess of that away. Just get a bit of thread down at the front for the materials. Now we're going to put on a wing, and the wing is going to be grey squirrel tail dyed black. Now I've already got some pre stacked here in the hair stacker, so I'm just going to take that out. Get this measured up now. You can have the tail as long or as short as you like, so, or the wing, sorry. So I'm just going to offer this up to the hook. I'm going to have it much in the length of the tail over the back, so I'm just going to hold it here with my finger and thumb. I'm going to come in with my scissors to take a measurement. I'm just going to trim that away over the bin. I'm going to come in and get the squirrel as tight as I can to the shank of the hook. Then I'm going to come around with a pinch and loop. And then another. And then a couple of nice tight turns onto the wing. Right. Just tighten up on the wing. See how you're sitting at this stage. And I'm happy enough with that. Just a wee favour there. Just want to come in and take it away. So the secure in the wing, I'm just gonna put a like a super glue onto the thread. Now I'm just gonna bring the thread with the super glue down on over the cut ends. Securing in the securing in the wing. You want a wee sparse wing on it, especially on a size 12. Well, I feel that's what I need. That's all that I need on it. Now I'm going to put in a bit of flash into the wing. And this is just two strands of silver crystal flash. So just want these down each side of the wing. Just going to come around and hold them. Come around with a pinch and loop. Couple of turns to catch them in, then I'm going to fold the silver tinsel back over on or the silver flash back over on itself. Come in, trim away the waist ends, and I'm just going to come in and trim these slightly longer than the wing. The two strong ones now. There's a wee throw tackle on the fly, and that's just a guinea fowl feather dyed blue. So just come in. Just take away the rubbish at the bottom, don't need it. Just bring the fibers out from the stem and just come in. I'm just going to take one pinch, that's all I need. If you think you need more, take more, it's up to you. And just offer this underneath the fly. So we throat, come round with a pinch and loop up the way. A couple of turns now, I'm going to spin the base round. I'm going to spread this out with my nail and I'm going to tighten up a couple of turns and then I'm going to come in and trim away the excess of the guinea fowl okay. and you can tighten up at this point just bring my thread down over the cut ends of the guinea fowl and I create my head here at the same time Get your crack shape under your head that you like. Just want to make sure you've got the guinea fowl tied in. Just come back up. Tied up against the wing. Okay. Now, just get the, the fly sitting for you. There you go. Now, just keep my thread tight. I'm just going to come in with my whip finishing tool. And just throw in a whip finish. Way back down, pull the thread nice and tight, and then come in and just trim away the excess. Now, first coat just to seal the head up, super glue, just on the head. Nowhere else do you want to run in your wing or in your feathers, and there you go, folks. So that's the wee pattern there. Now that fly was inspired by the Carry Blue. Now it's just a variation on it. The original pattern was a black bucktail for the wing. And just maintain a couple of variations in it. So that one there and there's that one. So that's just it tied with the glow bright floss. Um 
let me get a clip just to show you that's it there tied with the glow bright floss number 10 is the tail instead of the instead of the crest feather so look, give the fly we go um good fly for salmon and sea trout <coughs> excuse me dare say i would even take the um the dolphin so tie a few up get some in your box and hopefully they can catch you a few fish